What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss the pros and cons of mid-cut football boots slash soccer cleats. We're seeing more and more mid-cut boots as time goes on and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. With that said, we are seeing certain brands, notably Nike with the Hypervenom Phantom 3, offering a mid-cut and low cut variation of the exact same shoe. And I expect to see a lot more of that in the future, not just from Nike, but from other brands as well, which begs the question, should you go for the low cut version or the mid cut version? What are the pros and cons of a mid cut shoe in the first place? That's what we're discussing in today's video. If you guys enjoy it, be sure to support it with a like. And without further ado, let's talk about whether or not a mid-cut boot is right for you. One major pro of mid-cut boots is their ability to keep debris from getting inside of your shoes. And if you regularly play on artificial grass with the small rubber pellets, you know that those can be extremely annoying when they get inside of your shoe, you feel them around against your foot, they stick to your socks, they can be uncomfortable and they can often be the cause of blisters, especially on a hot summer day on an outdoor artificial grass playing surface. With a mid-cut boot, notably the ones from Nike with the tighter fitting collar, because it's extended higher, because the collar is more sealed around your ankle, and because they tend to be a one-piece enclosure as well, there's really nowhere for debris to get on the inside of the shoe, or in this case, those small rubber pellets, which means that they stay out of your shoes entirely, which does make for a more comfortable experience in general. To me, that's a huge pro of mid-cut boots, especially if you play regularly on artificial grass. One of the cons, and this is something that a lot of people don't necessarily consider, is that a mid-cut shoe will add more weight. It will be heavier than a low-cut shoe. And I guess a great example of this would be the Nike Hypervenom Phantom 3, where the low-cut version is lighter than that of the mid-cut DF variation. And the simple reason why that is, is because you have less material. If you add more material to the shoe to make it mid-cut, it's gonna in turn add weight to the shoe. Is that weight difference significant? No, not necessarily, but it's something to keep in mind because obviously along with mid-cut boots, lightweight boots are something that a lot of people are very concerned about as well. And still the best way to make a shoe as light as possible is to have less material, not more. One neutral point that I have in regards to mid-cut boots is that they do generally tend to change the fit of the shoe, especially in the heel area. Now this can be a positive or negative thing depending on the specific shoe and depending on your specific situation because everyone has different shaped feet and every shoe will fit everyone a little bit differently. Some people experience more comfort in low-cut shoes. Some people find the mid-cut boots to be a lot more comfortable. Personally, for me, I tend to prefer the fit and feel of low cut shoes. I find it a little bit more comfortable and I'm just more familiar with that style of fit. But kids growing up who are more used to wearing mid cut shoes or are just more inclined to wear that style of shoe don't mind the mid cut aspect at all in regards to overall comfort. But it definitely is something worth keeping in mind, especially if you haven't worn a mid cut shoe before, is that the fit in the heel area will be different. It might be better, it might be less comfortable. It really depends on your specific situation. Another major pro of mid cut shoes is that they tend to be more water resistant. Now, this is a generalization because a lot of mid cut shoes, they tend to be obviously mid cut and two they tend to be one piece as well and those two things go a long way in terms of keeping water outside of your shoe it's similar to the debris situation with artificial grass but i think a lot of people don't necessarily understand how their feet get wet in the first place when they're on a wet field or it's just a really really rainy day water is not soaking through the upper to the point where your feet get wet it's actually getting in the gaps be it the sides where you would normally have the tongue splitting off from the sides of the upper or around the low cut heel area around your ankle, the very back. Those are all gaps where water can get in, which in turn allows your feet to get wet. Now, of course, no shoe is going to be waterproof, but some can be more water resistant. And when you're talking about a one piece upper with a mid cut design, because the cut is now higher up, it's harder for water to get in at the ankle area. And if the construction of the upper is one piece, it's much harder for the water to get in as well because there's no gaps to seep through. So in regards to water resistance, mid-cut shoes tend to do a little bit better than low-cut boots. Another con of mid-cut shoes, and this kind of plays into the neutral point that I talked about in regards to the difference in fit and feel in the heel area, is that with a mid-cut design, you simply have more contact surface against your heel and ankle area. And 
Basically, this contact surface is something you would not have with a low cut shoe. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, when you have more material in contact with your foot, that's more potential for abrasion, that's more potential for rubbing, that's more potential for a blister or some kind of discomfort. I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed and perhaps have even experienced that when wearing a mid cut shoe for the first time, a lot of people often get a blister higher up the back of their Achilles heel in an area of the foot that wouldn't normally be in contact with any kind of material when wearing a low cut shoe. That's why you experience a discomfort. If there's more material there, while it might not seem like much, while it might not fit that tight, over time, over the course of a two hour playing session, there could be enough rubbing because of the mid cut design that can lead to some kind of discomfort. Again, this is something that's going to be different for everybody and this is something that you can beat through some kind of a break in process with the shoe, but it is an issue that you wouldn't normally have with a low cut shoe that does exist with mid cut boots. So it definitely is something to consider if you're planning on transitioning from low cut to mid cut. Another neutral point that I have is in regards to the look, which is obviously something that is purely subjective. Some people prefer the look of low cut shoes. Some people prefer the look of mid cut shoes. And by no means do I recommend buying shoes simply based on how they look. That's not a good idea. And ultimately not something that's important when it comes to why you're wearing that piece of equipment in the first place. The fit, the feel, those are two things that you definitely need to focus on before looks over anything. But I'm not saying you should buy a shoe that you think is ugly anyways. I just wanna say that don't buy shoes purely based on how they look because while a lot of these mid-cut shoes, they have the cool modern look, if they don't fit or feel right, you should not buy them. So again, this goes for low-cut shoes, this goes for mid-cut shoes. Buy shoes that feel right, not shoes that you think look the best if they don't feel right as well. That's pretty much it for pros and cons of mid-cut shoes. You'll have noticed that I didn't talk about performance at all, and that's because there is no performance benefit to a mid-cut shoe over a low-cut shoe or vice versa. The only difference between mid-cut and low-cut is gonna be the look, the fit, and the overall experience of wearing it, the quirks of that specific shoe. No performance is gonna be gained whether you have a low-cut shoe or a mid-cut boot. And another misconception with mid-cut boots is that they offer some kind of ankle support. That quite simply is not true. The material will cover your ankle, but it by, will by no means support your ankle. So keep that in mind as well. That's pretty much it though, guys. If you have any questions regarding anything that I talked about here, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.